Oh my god. It's a whole new me. Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerush to a TV. In case you didn't recognize me in my light florally colored outfit <laughs> and my curled hair. Uh, if you saw my vlog, that was an Insta story vlog situation that was my last vlog. You, if you watched the whole thing, you may have heard me in the end of it say that I wanted to just lighten up slowly, slowly, just cut my hair, because you know, it's so long and heavy and thick and I wanted to just get a bit of life and body into it and my god, girl, it has got so much body. This hair, like, I literally felt like, just like Jersey, New Jersey blowout. That's what I felt like. I felt like I should be on The Real Housewives or something. You see? Look how cute these sunnies go with this outfit now. See that? See what I mean by a little bit more femme? There's so much more like Jackie O and femme. That's very appropriate to show you my new Gucci sunnies today because I am here to do a Gucci unboxing. Before I start, I will draw your attention to this. Empty pigeonhole. It is empty, people. It is empty. All I'm gonna say is stay tuned for this situation. If you know what used to be in that pigeonhole, just stay tuned. Here with the Gucci unboxing today. This came last week, but I was I was so nervous for it that I wanted to unbox it straight away, like get it going. But Jerusha dropped her laptop mid-air off, like it was sitting on a pile of washing and it just fell mid-air and cracked me over the top of my left foot. Oh my God, it killed. So I couldn't film, I couldn't film. Massey was busy and then this was the day I got to sit down to be able to unbox this. But I tell you what, I am so nervous. I know every YouTuber sits down to me and is like, I'm so excited. I'm not excited. I'm shitting myself. I'm nervous. We have to get into this. This is the box. This was shipped by DHL. This this is a handbag. It was shipped by DHL because I bought this online at mytheresa.com. If you watched my luxury wish list video, you will know that I told you in that video that I had purchased, which I did an unboxing for, I had purchased from my Teresa the pair of Adidas. Uh, sneakers they didn't work out for me so I sent them back and just got a credit note with my Teresa and I because I knew that I wanted to try my hardest to get my hands on this and it came up and I snapped it up and I'm telling you I'm nervous because look I'll tell you the story after I unbox it but I tell you what I'm so nervous to see the colour. So the first thing I'm going to rave about is my Teresa. These guys, this is not a sponsored video. These guys are phenomenal. Again, like in that video with my Adidas, with my Adidas sneakers, I live in Australia. That is at the bottom of the planet. This came in one day, one full day. I ordered it on the Monday, it was in Australia on my doorstep on the Wednesday. And I was just like, what? They are so efficient and they are such an amazing website. When I returned the sneakers, it was so easy, it is so straightforward. So here it is, down inside the box. They send you all of the paperwork inside this sleeve, which I showed you in that uh, unboxing of the Adidas sneakers as well. I think they are so beautiful. So here it is. This is uh, the My Teresa box. So there we go. Let's unbox it together. Oh my god. I'm so nervous. I'm going to tell you why at the end. Oh my god. Okay. 
I've just opened it up here. It doesn't come with a box, with a Gucci box. I'm a little disappointed, but that's okay. I've got a million boxes. I'm just so excited. So there's the thank you card from My Teresa, and they packaged it really nicely with all the My Teresa padding around it. Here, here is the bag inside the drawstring dust bag, which is like the sateen uh, little dust bag. It has Gucci on the front there. <gasps> oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh my god. I wonder if this is the colour. I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's see. <gasps> oh, it's the colour. Yes. Awesome. Oh my god. Okay, cool. It is the colour. I was so worried. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's got all of this protection on it. Let's pull it off. Here it is. Oh my gosh. So this is my brand new Gucci mini Marmont camera bag in the colour nude. However, there is there is a few different names for this nude. I'm, I'm just not sure why it's not consecutive. Um, I do know that the 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 disco Soho like tanny nude colour is called Rose Tan Rose Rose Beige. And that's a great name because it's all the same. But this is the nude colour. And then they've got like a pale pink. Then they've got a brighter pink. And then they've got more like a whitey pink. And they just, I was starting to freak out because it's online. Obviously, you're just looking at a picture. You scroll down and it tells you the name. Annette Porte, I think it was listed as nude. Or rose nude. On Gucci.com and Gucci.com Australia, it was listed as nude. On MyTeresa.com, it's listed as porcelain rose. And they say that's what the house called it, like the design house. So Gucci named it porcelain rose. And I was just like, oh my gosh, what if I purchase it and it comes as the lighter pink color or the bright pink color so that is why i've been so nervous about it because i was like oh no i even took a photo of in that vlog i took a snap photo of like the light pink uh the essay costa was showing me it was like a light pink anyway it was similar to my louis vuitton Gastov MM notebook, which is kind of like the Rose Ballerine. So there you can see it's very, very different. So this is a very light pink, and this is clearly more of a nude, a, a kind of like a... I love the name Rose Beige. I wish that they could have called it that. But the Soho Disco Rose Beige is much more of a tan. This has definitely got like a rosy pink undertone, like blue undertones, whereas that has definitely yellow undertones. So this is it. I need to just look over it to check that it's perfecto. It is so cute. I'm like, I'm just excited that, well, I'm firstly incredibly happy that it's the right color. So here is the front and it's got the uh, uh, sort of all different size chevron quilting there. It's got the GG logo, the new thinner GG logo on the front. It is a top zipper closure. It's kind of got this beautiful aged gold hardware, which I think that's a very beautiful touch. It's got a nice top zipper, and it's just got, for on the zipper pull, it's just got a, uh, slip, a slip knot of two leather ties, as opposed to the Soho Disco, which is a full tassel. When I tried the Soho Disco on, which I have wanted, by the way, for so long. I either wanted it in a pop of colour, like a, the red. I have really always wanted the rose beige. But then when this came out, I was just like, this is it. This is the one. This is the one. It's smaller. It's a lot smaller. But this is the more square version being the camera bag. Whereas the small, it tilts in. It's sort of cut in a bit like that. Um, and I preferred this sort of square square shape as opposed to the small which is a bit bigger that's more comparable to the soho disco so just continuing on the features so you have that aged kind of gold hardware again in a chain 
from the bag it's not detachable but it goes up on d-rings you have a rivet holding on to the leather brake which is really nice and when I tried it on in the store it's super comfortable to wear so you have the both the same on either side of the bag two d-rings with the chain and then leading up to the leather brake I will stand up and do some mod shots for you because that's how I'm feeling today. Then when I switch, turn it around, you can see uh, on the back you have the chevron quilting again, but then you have this beautiful GG logo in the quilting. I just think that is such a cute little touch in all the Marmont bags, especially in the super mini because it's a heart. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just gone crazy. I just love Gucci. Bottom is just like so, no feet and yeah so it's like the perfect little camera bag that's exactly uh at first i called it the blogger bag i named it myself so it has the gucci little textiles booklet that's in the slip pocket on the side there it has the little control tag as well and then it has a little sample that's kind of like balenciaga it has a little sample of the leather as well i think that's cute it's very much like balenciaga so they came out of the back slip pocket i'm going to hold this up nice and close so that you guys can get a good shot down inside um this is the slip pocket you can see this is a faux suede so it's a faux suede like a man-made lining and then you've got the gucci tag here so it should say Gucci made in Italy. We have what looks to be um, like the date made in manufactured tag down here in the corner in black. You can see that. And that is basically it. Then you have one large compartment. Well, large. You have one, one body compartment. And I'm going to show you what this little guy fits. I am going to show you what it fits. But I'm just going to hold it up next to my Marmont uh a zip around wallet from Gucci that I had picked up. This is uh, the Marmont, uh, the, yeah, this is the Marmont line as well, if you saw that unboxing. So it is the same uh, nude, I would call it. It's that same rosy nude color. Again, my Teresa states it's called Porcelain Rose, uh, which is quite interesting. But this was the biggest test. This is my iPhone 7 Plus. And it fits down inside this bag perfectly. The iPhone 7 Plus or 6 Plus does not fit in the Super Mini. Uh, Dionysus. Sorry, it does fit in the Super Mini Marmont, but not in the Dionysus. But it fits very nicely down inside this bag. Not a problem. I'm using my Chanel card case. I'm going to put that in the back slip pocket just to be wary of space. I am using my new six keyring uh, multi-clay from Louis Vuitton. This was the replacement one that I had just picked up uh, um, from Bondi Westfield. Sorry. I'm going to pop that down inside there because I obviously need that. Here is my car key. I will need that. There we go. I'm just trying to maximize space, I suppose. Okay, so that is most of my essentials. Wallet-wise, you saw I am using my large uh, Gucci Marmont, which size comparison-wise is a little, like an inch longer than uh, the mini camera bag. So that's obviously not going to fit. But if I was downsizing, I've just picked up my Chanel uh, coin purse. That is what it's called. <laughs> Chanel coin purse. I'm going to just slot that down. If I was having a downsized wallet, I can definitely fit that. And then I'll give you a shot of that. That's what we can see. I'm just trying to not be too rough with it, but that's a shot. So we have the card case, the multi clay, my car key, and the wallet there. So that's keys money phone oh sorry and my iphone so that's keys money phone and wallet sorry and other cards <laughs> i'll throw a lip gloss in there that's my chanel i should show you that's what i'm wearing my chanel 119 i'm wearing that right now that's probably there's a little bit of space but there we go if i wanted to just carry that much around um on a kind of a daily basis i could 
And then obviously, uh, if I need my sunglasses or reading glasses, keep them uh, on me, like on my shirt or on my head or in the car. I'm going to stand up and do some mod shots on this baby, but I will tell you first the price. It From MyTeresa.com, it actually did come in at the same price as it comes in at the Gucci boutique in Bondi when I was checking out the black one there. It's $1,160 for this little camera bag and I was actually quite, I was really shocked because I was like, you know, do they mark it up because they're a, you know, they, they're a supplier. Uh, they're not Gucci themselves, but, and then it was free shipping. The site has all these different kind of codes and offers if you subscribe to the newsletter and they had free shipping. So yeah, it came in a day, free shipping, and it was the same price as it is in the store right now from Gucci. So that is my new Gucci bag. I'm super duper stoked to have this and it, the fact that it is the colour that I wanted. I got my nails done again in this nudie pinky colour. It's a little bit more pinky this time around to match my bag with my feminine outfit, my beautiful blouse. This blouse was from an independent boutique. Um, called Alex and Amaya, I think. If they have a link to their website, I will link it below. It's really, really pretty, pretty with big bell sleeves and, you know, look, pretty and me usually don't mix, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So that is it, guys. I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this unboxing. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you like my new mini camera bag from Gucci, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, my giveaway is open, guys. In my last video, I gave away the Louis Vuitton sunglasses case MM to you guys. So please go ahead and enter. The link is in that video. I will leave that video below so that you can go watch it and enter through the link in it. I would be so happy if you just entered my giveaway. I'm doing it because... Look, because I just want to give stuff away, that's just, look, that's the bottom line. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, that would be so great. There is a button below to subscribe and a bell next to it. If you hit that bell, you'll get notifications of all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Peace.